The concept of home has always been subjective. It's guided by a sense of belonging, a sense of trust, and a sense of knowing that home isn't necessarily where you are, but where you're supposed to be. On most days, the gym is home for St. Thomas basketball coach Johnny Tower. Not only because he's the man in charge of the Tommies, but because his father helped foster his love of the game. In his spare time, he'd come home and he coached this eighth grade basketball team, and he did that for 25 years. And so I grew up as a kid, like those were the, those were the kids I looked up to when I was in kindergarten, first, second grade. I'd tag along at his practices if I had behaved during the day and done all my homework. And so really, Didn't you know, you like it was cry this, when they lost the championship. Oh yeah, I was in tears. I was the scorekeeper. I mean, it was like, to me, it was the biggest deal in the world. Home for Johnny's wife, Chansey, is the classroom. As the co-founder of Prodeo Academy in the Twin Cities, her focus aligns with her husband's, trying to help kids find their potential. Yeah, so I realized really early on in college that there was a huge disparity in education uh, and that all programs didn't have such strong like teachers and programs and opportunities. And so, um, uh, and so we became interested in, in working to, to fix that. The fix to education, much like a fix to their actual home, doesn't happen overnight. As the towers await a remodel of their permanent living quarters, they're in a temporary apartment with a new, exciting, and adorable addition. She's been wonderful. She doesn't always sleep quite like this, but uh, she's <laughs> yeah. been awesome. Baby Issa entered the tower's lives in the summer of 2021. A bright face with a gentle heart and a small reminder of the big obstacles that preceded her entry into their world. In 2018, three years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer for the first time. It was um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And so I went through treatment for that um, and finished sometime that year. Then I was diagnosed again in 2020, shortly after COVID hit. Uh, with um, stage three breast cancer. We were told that we needed to wait two years before uh, having a baby after my chemotherapy was finished. And so we were waiting for that time to approach. And it was six months before that, that I was diagnosed again. Back-to-back -back bouts with cancer left Chansey feeling like the clock for expanding her family with Johnny had been reset. But an unexpected assist came just in time. So Chansey and I actually were in the same Girl Scout troop when we were really, really young. Lauren is uh, my best friend from, from school. We met in elementary school and we're best friends since high school. Um, she's an incredible person, obviously. I've been part of her journey of wanting to have a child for, you know, since we were young, we've talked about wanting to have kids and what our families would look like. And Chansey always wanted to have a huge family and tons of kids. She called me up and said, I talked to my husband already, and if you need, I would carry for you. As we started talking about it more, I essentially just said, you know I'd do it for you, right? Like, no problem. Let's. Let's do it if this is something you want to do. And that just started the whole journey. It was um, just really incredible. I used to cry every time I talk about it. It still feels emotional to think about Lauren calling me up and just saying, I'll do this for you. Lauren Colburn lives in Seattle. And with a husband and two kids of her own, she had never envisioned being a gestational carrier. But becoming a surrogate for the towers connected the families separated by more than 1,500 miles even more. You know, we kind of talked through all of those different elements and, you know, talked with my husband about it and Johnny about it and made sure that the four of us were really aligned with how we'd want to see this go and how it would work. And, you know, luckily it all, <laughs> all worked, which is so phenomenal. There's a certain serendipity to how it all has sort of come together. My favorite part was like, they bring up the baby and like, I can kind of see her, but you know how it is, but I could see Chansey and I could see her reaction. And she just had so much joy and so much happiness coming out of her. And just like that moment um, was like worth everything. Home has new meaning now for Johnny, Chansey, and Issa Tower. It spans from their temporary rental to their permanent address, from the classroom to the court, and from Seattle to St. Paul. Yet between all those places, the foundation has always been strong, rooted in the love and care it takes to make a family flourish. Over the course of their journey, the Towers always knew it didn't matter where they were located, 
because home was always with each other. You probably either laugh or cry at, at the end of each day when you think about it all. And I think more than anything, just looking at it all as a blessing, that all of that is great stuff. It's just the challenge is how do you, how do you try to balance all those things each day? But it, it's um, when you're doing it with somebody you love, it's easy to step back and just say, this is really special. There has been so much that's happened between when we met and now, and a lot of unexpected things. And I think our family came together in a really unique and beautiful way. And I think we're really both very grateful for that. Hi. And joined now by David Brown and WOW, first of all, right, with everything they've gone through. But how did they meet? Johnny and Chancey met on a recruiting visit, or what's the story on that? I think technically you can say it was a recruiting trip. So okay. Johnny has kids from a previous marriage, and he and Chancey met in 2013 through a mutual friend. At the time, she was trying to get kids to commit to her new charter school, and this mutual friend thought it would be nice to get St. Thomas basketball players and coaches to help recruit families to this new school. So Johnny and Chancey struck up a conversation, and he asked, well, how do you recruit? And she says, well, you knock door to door. And he joked he always thought he was pretty good at recruiting, but her getting families of four-year-olds to commit to a school that didn't exist, he thought that recruiting, a, that's pretty special. So they struck up a bond that way, and uh, they've been together ever since. All right. And Coach Tower, lots going on, obviously, with the transition to Division One this year, but he could have had more going on had he not backed off a little bit? He could have. Amazingly enough, when they were Division Three. He not only coached basketball, but he was a professor of psychology at St. Thomas. He's a tenured professor there. He is not retired from teaching specifically, but he is taking this year off. Obviously, there is a lot going on with him, both with the move to Division One and, of course, as you saw, with his personal life. All right. Awesome. Thanks a lot. David Brown. Mm -hmm. This has been Midco Sports Magazine presented by Build Your Base with Beef Sports Nutrition and Training Program.